the way the world produces and uses energy is visibly changing. But to meet the most ambitious goals of the Paris Agreement, change needs to happen faster. Shell is becoming an energy business for the future, and it's playing its part to help drive that change. Our scenarios help inform our thinking and show how the energy system could transform quicker. The transition of the world's energy system is happening while global population is growing, potentially to 11 billion by the end of the century. That's more people requiring more energy for a better quality of life. So the question is, what could this energy system look like? For the global economy to achieve net zero carbon dioxide or CO2 emissions, electricity, primarily from renewables, as well as hydrogen and biofuels, are expected to be important in the future energy system. Shell scenarios explore a range of possible futures to help make better decisions today for tomorrow. Our newest scenarios, Waves, Islands and Sky 1.5, are all on a path towards net zero CO2 emissions, with energy systems eventually dominated by renewables. But the choices society makes will determine how quickly the world moves towards net zero emissions. In the most ambitious scenario, Sky 1.5, the average global temperature rises above and is then limited to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, before the end of this century. This requires the entire world to reach net zero CO2 emissions by sometime before 2060. Our scenarios show that leading economies, sectors and companies must act faster for the world to achieve this timeline. And we want to be one of those leading companies, which is why Shell's target is to become a net zero emissions energy business by 2050 or sooner. The Sky 1.5 scenario requires energy efficiency improvements of around 50% across the global economy. But more energy will still be needed to meet demand. So the emerging system needs to address the economic sectors that consume the most energy. To get from today's energy consumption to a net zero emissions energy system, Industry will need to shift towards more electricity, primarily from renewables, as well as hydrogen and bioenergy. Currently in transport, energy consumption is mostly from oil-based fuels. But the use of hydrogen and biofuels will need to grow, as will electricity, mainly from renewables. Today, buildings mostly consume energy from non-renewable sources. In the future, they will require electricity mostly from renewables, with some bioenergy. Deep electrification of the global economy is needed to achieve net zero emissions, which means more than tripling electricity consumption. In power generation, electricity will increasingly come from renewables, primarily wind and solar, as well as some nuclear. Natural gas will continue to play an important role, supporting the transition from coal and compensating for the intermittency of renewables. Commercial production of biofuels from biomass must ramp up alongside the production and distribution of hydrogen at scale. To achieve Sky 1.5, unavoidable emissions are removed from industrial processes or from the atmosphere using both technology and nature. While the energy transition is inevitable, it will proceed at different paces in different places and sectors and with different degrees of turbulence. Faster progress needs pioneering leaders in government and businesses to act. Government policy and greater alignment will also be crucial. 
country by country and sector by sector, with each needing a different approach to unlock well-directed investment. We know that the energy transition can only happen if governments and businesses incentivize low and zero carbon choices and if customers embrace these changes. There is no doubt the transformation of the energy system must move faster to limit global warming. And this is a huge challenge that affects everyone because the world needs energy to improve lives. And for a healthy planet, this must be cleaner energy. Put simply, it is going to take ambitious orchestration of government policy, investment and sector cooperation. But we believe the world can achieve net zero CO2 emissions to meet the goal of Paris if industry, government and society work together to make the right choices now. The energy system must change faster. And change is opportunity. Shell is acting today to be part of this future.